In our previous video, we made a lot of progress wiring the light switches, plug outlets, and getting the light fixtures put in place. I'm gonna go ahead and screw this piece up there. Uh, hope I don't do anything wrong per the instructions, but. Now comes the part that actually brings everything to life. So today, we're installing the breakers, connecting our off-grid inverter, and building out our solar battery bank. And y'all get to come along for the ride. I got some heavy batteries in the car and I don't want to walk them from way over there. So I'm gonna try to pull up. I think it's hard enough. It ain't too, too wet. All right, what up y'all? You getting up out of there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Check it out. I got some hump sink, 5120 watt hour, 51.2 volt, 100 amp hour batteries. Big shout out to hump sink for sending these to us as well. We gonna test it out. We gonna see if they work. Uh, they're pretty batteries, but that don't mean nothing until we figure out if we can hook them up and and uh, get what we need out of them. Whew. That's heavy. Y'all, this is the Smart Edition, so it's got an app and all of that to it, and this BMS is 100 amps. One of the other things I like about it is it's got the two terminals for the negatives and the positive. That's what we ended up doing yesterday but i didn't record that because i left the camera at the house and what's crazy is i had the wife and my daughter out here helping me the real bosses so i didn't get any of that but you can go back and look at another video where i set up a box on the wall and all that but i'll show you guys what this actually looks like i have my sub panel that's connected here with the wires that i ran for my switches and my plugs or my plugs <laughs> and my switches for all my lights and stuff. And uh, it's coming through the box, through the wall, into the box, and through the wall, into the box. This is hardy board, so, or cement board, whatever you wanna call it. But that's my first box panel that I'm gonna connect everybody else to. So that's like a sub panel. This is my load panel. I won't be messing with this today because I got to figure some things out with grounding. So as soon as I figure that out, we'll be good to go. And then, of course, my inverter, you may be asking why so high? Because I wanted to clear my fans and also there will probably be another two of them running these bad boys into this bad boy and it's going to run straight into my box which will power my 15 amp, which is where this white wire is gonna go, and then my 320s, which are my plug sockets. So, I'll uh, do my best to explain a little bit on how that's really gonna work. And listen, not a professional, don't do as I do. So first, I'm gonna start by figuring out where I, how I want this wire run. So it's gonna come in the box, stay up top, turn the corner go down the side of the box it'll go to the breaker it'll go to the neutral and it'll go to the ground Got the wife pulling up, y'all. What up, wife? What you got going on? It's chilly. It is chilly. I got a. I think I got a jacket in the car. It's okay. I'm gonna be okay. What you do yesterday? Nothing. What? You ain't do nothing yesterday. Just supervised. Mm. <laughs> anyway, y'all, she did this. We put up all of the insulation for this side and the hardy board. All of that down there, y'all can see the insulation in there. She tripping. Say what's up to the people. What's up to the people? All right, now we looking like something. Real quick look. Breaker got the hot ground. 
and then my neutral all runs to my switches and that's the breaker that'll turn it on and off all right now we need to take this thing off of here and expose the areas where we need to run our uh power from here on over to this panel again we're gonna bypass this load panel for now the reason i need this is because when i add inverters i need to run it through a load panel first but today so that i could test make sure everything is working from the inverter to the big breaker box that's going to run everything the switches and stuff but anyway what we want to do now is connect this box to this panel and we're going to use number six wire We'll get this uh, neutral wire in. Man. So we in there, we lock down, we good to go. Now what we wanna do is, and I know this is too long, but I'm not gonna cut it yet because I am gonna use this and it's gonna run out of this all the way into this one when it's time to get it all set up permanently and run into a breaker a 40 amp breaker and then it'll be the same wire will run out of another breaker same size wire and then out of this into the box and then that's how that connection is going to be made so loosen this up tighten her down And then let's get this ground put in. So again, going backwards or from right to left, I got my ground on my ground bar. I got my hot, I got my second hot, and then I have my neutral on my neutral bar. And by the way, this is a neutral bar and this is a neutral bar, it's connected with the whole box down there so any neutrals that i put over here like you see here that's gonna be able to get hit off that neutral so let me hook the batteries up real quick i'll show y'all how i'm doing that Yeah, I know you probably shouldn't use a drill to tighten these up either, y'all. <clears throat> Again, don't do as I do. I mean, don't do nothing. That I, do. <laughs> I don't know if that'll be a good thing for you or not. All right, so I got my positive and my negative battery connected here. They're down tight. Everything is good. Let me work on getting the batteries connected together and then these connected to the battery so we could turn this thing on and see what we get all right so here we go terminals that's right because they have four and the watt cycle batteries they only have one on each so this is cool because they have four so they had a they had one positive one negative on each battery but for these hump sinks, which is really good. They got two positive connections, two negative connections. So this is, this is a good thing. Yeah, that's nice. Let's get this thing turned on and see what we got. And we gonna turn that on. That thing turned on. Oh, <laughs> yeah, baby. Everybody's on and drawing power out this thing, y'all. Yep. That one's on too. And I even turned the one out here on. So I don't know, you can see it's kind of glowing a little bit. All right, check it out. Hump sink. 
I appreciate y'all. This is going to stay set up in here. Again, I'm just going to do some cleaning up of the wires because this ain't going to work with that heavy gauge wire. But I need to put a couple of bus bars up here. If I want to put a trough down there to run all wires, I can. I mean, I'm going to have a car charger off of this thing. I'm going to have all kind of stuff connected to this thing, to this powerhouse. So again, y'all, I appreciate it. Hey, if y'all want to go check them out, go check them out. Yeah, I'm about to work with these plugs right now because you can see they are not connected in the box. While I'm waiting on the wife to wake up, I'm trying to figure out the location of where I want my PV wires to come in at because my PV connection is here and it's going to run down through here. And I don't know if I want it. I don't know where I want it. All right, here we go. Locked up. Almost through. All right, got through that. So now I need to go on the outside and drill my hole from the other side. All right, here we go. Let's get it. All right. All right, so just now that the little bit to get through is the uh, is the OSB. There it is, through to the inside. Hey, can you bring me that PVC? Yeah. Let me see if this PVC gonna fit through here real quick. There you go, now push it through. Boom. All right, and it's got a little bit of breathing room y'all around the edges, so that we didn't have no problem putting it in there. Again, this is plumbing PVC, but what we're using it for is just a small little short conduit between the wall. Check it out. I got this box. It's uh, IP65 rated. It's weatherproof. We have our two glands that the wire can go up and then the hardware to put the box on there, but the glands were important so nothing gets into this box where we're going to put all run all the wires through. But anyway, you finna cut a hole in this am? thing? Yeah. You don't want to do that? I don't care. You gonna crack it? Maybe. Oh, okay. Maybe I should put the hole in it then. All right, so I got that kind of outline. So now I'm going through the other side. I don't like this. All right, that was clean. Switching the bit out to my step bit. All right, and that thing steps down. So let me look at the glands real quick. Do I need to tighten that too? All right, so that's one gland. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's what we getting at. I'll be back. All right. Okay. 
Or listen. Uh -oh. Don't speed. I want to go super These fast. are the screws that came with it, so they're probably not the the best. I want to go fast. Killed that thing. Good job, boo. Thanks. It's a good look. Okay, y'all. Hopefully we can get this done. We didn't we haven't been out here very long. We're gonna get some wire run from those solar panels over here and into there real quick. Oh wait, let me actually let me cut that first so I can make sure it's good to go. Alright. There's our mark, y'all. And this is the piece that we gonna use it because it kind of stops it from going any further that way so let's cut it real quick man that is an ugly cut it's so crooked miss my line by a lot <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. i can see it there we go good job that's solid, huh? It looks like it. All right. So there's our red. I'll go up there and feed that through. Actually, we'll feed through the, through the other side. Go feed that. Keep feeding. I'll tell you how long. Keep feeding. Keep feeding. One more. Okay. And then let me hand you the black. Does it matter which side? It doesn't matter which side, for real. She's feeding it through the gland. Hope y'all could see that. And then straight in through that little conduit pipe. All right, so I think that's pretty good. That should be good. All right. So let me put this cover back on. I'm gonna turn the load on so we can get some light in here. As we can see, everything's back on. I'm gonna hit this button and I'm gonna flip this PV. But y'all, the sun is gone. We got some voltage. So I'm not sure if y'all could see that, but that's crazy that we're getting some watts in and charging the batteries. And actually you could see them running yeah y'all this is pretty cool all right this girl back here carving stuff in the walls what is it what are you carving it's my initials, Your initials? hold up baby oh. i was yo. okay well y'all can see it's pretty dark out there i know the camera's making it look kind of bright and nice and pretty but nice. uh oh uh oh it's dark y'all what point five point which oh is, six which is nothing point zero six kilowatts i need to we need to figure out how to read that but look again appreciate y'all tuning in i had crazy with me today but that but that's not bad so the battery right now that means that's what the battery is using point zero eight that's what that means i think so I'm not okay, we're not too far off. We almost at zero. We appreciate y'all. Almost a wash. Until next time, tell the people peace. Deuce. Deuce, y'all. Holla. Out of player.